Hello, my friends, and welcome back to our course. In this video, we're going to talk about the Android Studio user interface. If we open Android Studio and we created the first application in the previous videos, we have this user interface and this graphical user interface. We'll start from above with this menu. This menu is called the menu bar. It contains a range of menus for performing tasks within the Android Studio environment, like file, edit, view, navigate, code, refractor, and we'll use this menu later on in the next project. So this, uh, this is called menu bar. The second thing is called the toolbar. This is a selection of shortcuts to frequently performed action. So this is the toolbar. If you want to master Android app development in both the Java and Kotlin languages, learn Java from zero and learn Kotlin from scratch, master data structure and algorithms in C and Java, join my Udemy bestseller courses to start publishing your own apps. Get the coupons from the description below. The toolbar buttons provide quick access to a select group of menu bar actions. The toolbar can be customized by right clicking on the right uh, or the, on the bar and selecting the customized menu and toolbars menu options. So it's the, the most frequently and most recently used and the most important shortcuts would be in this toolbar. The third thing that we're going to talk about is called the navigation bar. So this is the navigation bar. The navigation bar provides a convenient way to move around the files and folders that make up the project. Clicking on the element in the navigation bar will drop down a menu listing the subfolders and files at that location ready for selection. Similarly, Clicking on the class name, displaying a menu listing methods contained within the class, and so on. So this is called the navigation menu or navigation bar. Now let's talk about the editor window. This is called the editor window. This whole area is called the editor window. Editor window displays the content of the file on which the developer is currently working. When multiple files are open, each file is represented by a tab located along the top edge of the editor as shown here. So this is the editor window. And you can see that I have opened two files. This is for the layout and this is for the Kotlin classes. So you can see these tabs and we can switch on them, but uh, switch between them by clicking on each of these tabs you want to edit. So this is called the editor window. The status bar. This is the status bar. If we look down here, this is called the status bar. So status bar. The status bar displays informational messages about the project and the activities of Android Studio together with the tools menu button located in the far left corner. Hovering over items in the status bar will display a description of that field. Many fields are interactive, allowing the user to click to perform tasks or obtain more detailed status information. For us, we're going to use the look at, we're going to use the run, and later on in the advanced things, we're going to use the version control. And here we can see the inspection, terminal, and the build. But what we need to, to use to see in the look at, and test our applications, um, get the information about uh, any errors here in run and the log cat. So this is the status bar. 
if we look on the left here we have the project tool window the project tool window provides a hierarchical overview of the project file structure allowing navigation to specific files and folders to be performed the toolbar can be used to display the project in several different ways the default setting is in the android view which is the mode primarily used in the remainder of this course the project tool window is just one of many tool windows available within the android studio environment now if we close these tabs and click on minimize we'll see in the um, in the user interface on the left and on the right and on the button we'll see these tabs and these icons so here we have on the left tabs like structure build variants bookmarks project resource manager and on the right we can see the gradle the device manager notification emulator device file explorer and on the bottom we can see version control run profile look at app quality insights build to do problems terminal services and app inspection android studio offers a wide range of tools tool windows the most commonly used of which are as follows these are the most commonly and most important tools in android studio the app inspection provides access to the database and background task inspectors the database inspector allows you to inspect query and modify your apps database while the app is running so this is the app inspection then if we move to the build here we use this tab or this tool will display information about the build process while the project is being compiled and packaged and displays details of any errors encountered the build variants i'm using uh, the, the alphabetical order of uh, these uh, tabs so i'm not using their order on the tabs the build variant tools window provides a quick way to configure different build targets for the current application project for example different builds for debugging and release versions of the application or multiple builds to target different device categories the device file explorer available via the view tools window then we select device file explorer menu if you uh, if you missed this or you close it by uh, by accident this tool window provides direct access to the file system of the currently connected android device or emulator allowing the file system to be browsed and files copied to the local file system this device file explorer will use it uh, in the SQL uh, SQLite databases and the room databases later on when we talk about databases and the storage the emulator we have uh, used this tab before the emulator we, if you click on it it will display the the AVD the Android virtual devices and um, and allow and allow us to run it so this option has been enabled to run the android emulator in a tool window as outlined in the next in the previous video videos the bookmarks if we move here for the bookmarks to the left this is or th this tool will be used to provide quick access to bookmark files and code lines the gradle here the gradle tool window provides a view of the gradle tasks that make up the project build configuration the window lists the tasks 
uh, that are involved in compiling the various elements of the project into an executable application. The layout inspector provides a visual 3D rendering of the hierarchy of the components that make up a user interface layout. The logcat, and as I told you, we're gonna use it many in our applications. The logcat window uh, or tool window provides access to the monitoring log output from a running application in addition to options for taking screenshots and videos of the application and stopping and restarting a process. Problems. A central location in which to view all of all the current errors or warnings within the project. The profiler. The Android Profiler tool window provides a real-time monitoring and analysis tool for identifying performance issues within running apps, including CPU, memory leaks, and network usage. This option becomes available when an app is currently running. The project. Here we have on the left, the project. So this project tool window will provide an overview of the file structure that makes up the project allowing for quick navigation between between files generally double clicking on the file in the project view will cause that file to be loaded in the appropriate editing tool the resource manager here the resource manager, a tool for adding and managing resources and assets such as images, colors, and layout files contained within the project. Run. The run tool window becomes available when an application is currently running and provides a view of the result of the run together with options to stop, restart, uh, or, or restart a running process. If an application is failing to install and run on a device or emulator, this window will typically provide diagnostic information related to the problem. The structure. Here, the structure tool window will provide a high level view of the structure of the resources file currently displayed in the editor. This information includes a list of items such as classes, methods, and variables in the file. Selecting an item from the structure list will take you to the location or to that location in the resource file in the editor window. The terminal. The terminal will provide access to terminal window on the system on which Android Studio is running. On Windows system, this will be as a command prompt interface, while on Linux and Mac OS system, that takes you to the form of a terminal prompt. <laughs> to do the last window that I'm, uh, will, I will talk about is the to do and as the name suggests this tool provides a place to review items that have yet to be completed on the project android studio compiles this list by scanning the source files that make up the project to look for comments that matches specified to do patterns and the version control as i talked about Later on, we uh, will uh, we'll use it in uh, GitHub and Git repositories. So it's used uh, when the project files are under source code version control, allowing access to Git repositories and code change history. So this is a quick review and a quick overview about the Android